For three months now, people across the southeast have been compelled to observe several sit-at-home sessions ordered by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOB. This is to push for the release of the leader of the group, Nam Kanu, who is standing trial over charges of treason at the Federal High Court Abuja. A weak sit at home by IPOB is threatening the peaceful conduct of the 2021 Anambra governorship elections slated for Saturday, the 6th of November. This is Oka, the state capital. Shops, businesses and other commercial enterprises are totally paralyzed. Major highways are deserted and devoid of the busy vehicular movements. Four years ago, only 22% of the total registered voters elected Governor Willie Obiano. Analysts are of the view that if the security situation is not addressed, Saturday governorship election might witness another round of voter apathy. It will uh, give rise to apathy. But of course, you know that uh, apathy has been the issue in Anambra State. In the last uh, election, 2017, and even before that, we discovered that the number of people that came out to vote was much, much lower than the expected number. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it has fulfilled 12 sets to conduct the election. People have been scared based on the uh, on, um, insecurity situation. It requires us to, you know, the media to come up with a system of uh, giving the public the information that will enable them to take the right decision. To address the grave security concerns, the Inspector General of Police is deploying two Deputy Inspectors General of Police, Joseph Ibunike in charge of Force Criminal Investigation Department and Ahmed Zaki who is in charge of operations at the Force Headquarters. They will be assisted by five Assistant Inspector General of Police, 14 Commissioner of Police, 31 Deputy Commissioners of Police and 48 Assistant Commissioners of Police. 34,587 operatives who consist of conventional police officers, police mobile force, the counter-terrorism unit and special forces as well as medical team will man the 21 local government areas of the state for peaceful conduct of the election on Saturday. According to the Independent National Electoral Commission statistics, over 2.5 million registered voters are in Anambra State. Four years ago, 22% of these people partook in the governorship election. But what is going to happen ahead of Saturday's governorship election will be determined by the security situation around the states. From Oka Ayodele Uzubaku, TVC News, Anambra State. The Sahel region is one of the most troubled areas in Africa where violent and extremist groups roam almost unhindered, inflicting death, displacement and devastation. Most members of these violent groups and fighters are youth. The region has the most vibrant youth population in the continent as young people make up about 64% of the total population and over 50% of the youth are females. The launch of this initiative seeks to connect more than 100 million Sahelian youth. The females will be given opportunities to contribute to peace, security and economic growth by the end of 2030. Through our intervention, we were able to create small businesses and generate economic growth in the youth, channeling their creativity and skills to transform the Sahel region. More than 2 million people in this region have been forced to flee their homes, with millions more losing their sources of livelihoods. Poverty eradication through empowerment and the provision of economic opportunities will, to a large extent, be a tool to ending insecurity and all threats to national development currently experienced in the Sahel region. This initiative will amplify the voices of youth to advocate for transformation across the region. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja. The women and youths of Ibomotoro in Southern Ijo Council area have taken to the streets in protest 
of the killing of one Mr. Young Major, while two others are still missing. 67-year-old Ibumowe Kenneth is the boat driver that was carrying the youths before tragedy struck. We, we are going to that economy when other people join. We are six in number. Two people get the water snail, other people join us to go and drop. As we are going nearly to pass out to the other river, we see light, like just big boat coming. So we keep ourselves aside, corner, to give vacancy that the boat should pass. Before looking the second minute, we see gunboat at the corner side just come out to us. As it just come out, I say, who are these people? Who are these people? From there, gun started sounding. From there, people jump down. From there, we are living three in the boat, three jump down. And that three jump down. We see only one man die fall down for the grandside. Two people Monday with the John don't miss inside the boat. They were with uniform, army uniform, with gun. They they, they suit everybody. Me and nearly have to die. But now, now only God now save me. The natives say it is not the first time killings of this nature has occurred in the community, while calling on the intervention of the government and the multinational oil companies operating in the area. About eight people have been killed. What we are saying here is that let the contract go to somebody inside Igbumatoro. So if we want to do anything wrong, we know how to explain it and we know what we did. But not somebody to accuse us again. Let the island companies not step Boma Kingdom again. And uh, let the government look about this and solve this problem immediately. The man that they shot is an innocent person. I want the government dialogue security to use all their effort to take good, proper care of his wife and his children and his family. They have brothers and they have sisters. A deeply saddened community is still hurt by the incident killings, but no security operative has claimed responsibility on the sad incident. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Ibomotoro, Bayosa State.